Welcome back to this channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a social media profile picture. Attractive one actually. Either for your YouTube, Facebook or Instagram accounts. By just using Canva alone, just like what you are seeing on the screen. So let's dive into action straight away. Right, so the first thing you do is to open your Canva and you create a workspace. So you go ahead and then click on the plus button. Then you come and click on this customized size. So I just want to choose a 500 pixel by 500 pixel. Then you create new design. All right, the moment that is done, then you go to gallery and then bring in the picture that you want to use. All right, so let me just do that. Okay, so for me, this is the picture that I want to use for this design. So the next thing you are going to do is to remove background. So you just click on the picture and then come to BG Remover. You need to have Canva Pro to be able to do this. If you need Canva Pro and you don't have, uh, you can reach out to the number in the description box below and I will be selling Canva Pro to you at a cheaper rate. All right, so the next thing I want to do is to change the background of uh, where I have this, my picture. So what I'll just do is to go to Elements and then I'm going to search for a background. So I want to search for purple. You can choose your own, actually. I just want purple and blue background. Yeah, so that is what I want. All right, so I want to go with this and then i'm going to make it to you know fill up the whole design space then i will send it to the back actually so i'm going to send it to the back so then i will re reposition this my picture that i've removed the background also to fill up the entire space all right i think uh, this is beautiful already so what we're going to do next is to just save this uh design so go ahead and just save it don't forget to save as png so that you can have high quality image all right so the moment that is done then we create a new workspace just tap on the plus sign and then the new one is created so i'm going to bring in a circle frame so i will just go to element and then search for a circle frame all right so i'm going to go with this third option so let me select that so that i can change the color of the frame so i will equally resize it to the size that i want so let me resize it to the size that i want and then i will bring it towards the down part of the design part so that i can have the pop out uh, effects up there so once this is done then i will go to gallery and then import the saved design so to place the design into the frame that we have you will tap on the picture that i just brought in and then you slide it over the frame then the next thing you are going to do is to double tap on it and then increase the size of the design uh, by using the button at the edges like we are provided with make sure you do it in such a way that it's filling up the workspace effectively then i want to move this guy up a bit yeah so i'll click on done all right so once we're done with this then i'm going to bring in that same design and uh, i will go to gallery and then just import it again so once we have it i want to move it over this design but you will notice that the moment you are moving it in it will replace that one there so just uh, click on undo and then you click on the frame itself then we are going to lock the frame all right so the frame is locked so that if we move anything over it it will not you know uh, want to sit into the design so the next thing i want to do is to remove the background of this first so i will go ahead and remove the background all right so the background is removed now then next i will go and then resize it to be the size of the picture that we have in the frame make sure you are doing it well so that uh, you can have uh, something that is matching with what you have on the background all right so we have done that then the next thing we are going to do is to crop this over the initial design you see that i'm cropping it 
it is actually now matching all right so this brings us to the end of this video so you can just go ahead and then click on export and then you are going to download uh, using a transparent background don't forget you are downloading the second page and then you go ahead to click done and then you can click on download and that brings us to the end of this video if you actually enjoy what you have seen so far don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel so that you get notified each time we upload new videos and uh, don't forget to share with your friends if you have any question drop it in the comment section and i will pick it up thank you for watching and bye for now